All right, so Georgia Tech has this online master's program. You can do it completely online, and you have to take 10 classes to graduate. Computer Networks is the one I took this summer semester. It was really easy overall, and I'm going to show you basically the structure of the class, how many assignments there are, what you need to know for each assignment, and just kind of give you a little demo of what projects you will do for it. All right, so Georgia Tech's online master's program, Computer Networks Review. Yeah, so the short answer to this is um, it's a pretty easy class compared to most of the courses that Georgia Tech offers. I've taken things like machine learning, AI, and robotics, and those are pretty tough compared to this one. So I only took about five hours a week. It's uh, a manageable class if you want to bundle it with another harder class or take it over the summer. I found it pretty manageable during the summer term. You get two exams. They're closed notes and each worth 15% of your grade but they follow the quizzes very closely so the quizzes are open notes and you can basically see the right answers every time you take them the exams take exact questions from the quizzes most of the time and so it's very good to prepare you for the exams projects alright so the first project is setting up a virtual machine that you're going to use for two out of the four projects and uh, you can basically do this either through uh, VMware, which is free and works for Windows or Linux or Intel chips, or if you happen to have like a MacBook with the new M1 chip, you have to buy this $40 subscription thing to a thing called Parallels Desktop, and uh, then it works. So I guess that's one downside is the cost. You have to pay for this fee if you have an M1, but other than that, it's free and it should work just like right out of the box. The virtual machine is actually pretty cool. Like you can do a lot of things with it and it tells you how to do like packet captures, which is really important in networking. I actually am a network engineer for Microsoft and the stuff we do in this class is very relevant for networks. So it's good hands-on experience actually. Um, the first lab you'll do is called Spanning Tree and you basically get, are given a graph of nodes and you want to find the minimum spanning tree between all of the nodes in the graph. So there's an algorithm that they teach you in the reading and it follows the algorithm exactly so like there are no gotchas or hidden tricks with this one it just basically read the algorithm and code it up. Um, the next project is called distance vector routing. So distance vector routing is essentially the same as the minimum spanning tree, except that the edges to the graph now have weights. So you want to take that into account and find like the least costly paths between nodes called SDN firewall. It's really cool. You just implement this firewall using some configs from a code package called POX. And POX is extensive. Like there's a lot of stuff in POX, but you don't need to know all that. The pro tip I'll give you is to read the appendix A that's in your project spec, and that's the only thing you need to know about POX. Like, don't even bother reading the other stuff online. It'll just probably make you more confused. And uh, the other than that, like, it's pretty straightforward. There's just some configs you give to POX, and POX will actually handle all the filtering of packets and routing of packets and all that. So, like, you're just giving priority and you're just giving actions to POX. POX is going to be actually implementing all those actions. So this one was not too bad at all. I mean, it is a little tricky to understand POX just to like make it compile, but the appendix is like once again, read that and you'll be set. The last project is BGP measurements and it's basically like leak code. Like you just get this set of records and you just for loop through them and there are like five different prompts where each prompt has like a specific requirement where it's like find all the unique records that's like one so that's like oh you want to use a set or like uh, map all of the number of times each record gets hit or something that's like oh that's like a hash map so it's not necessarily like networking related but I guess you do get your hands on some actual internet data um, but this one's more like leak code style, so this one's not too bad at all. It took maybe four hours. And you get an limited amount of sub submissions on Gradescope. 
All right, so let me know what you thought of the video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to make some more of other classes I've taken at Georgia Tech. And uh, stay tuned. See you next time.